Good morning, everybody. This is Molly. I want to share with y'all a font of viewer and organizer that I use and I have found to be a great tool when trying to preview fonts to use in my Silhouette Cricut or for word art and printables and things. Uh, it's very easy and um, I think you might enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, it's called AMP Font Viewer and I'm going to go under, I have Windows 10, I'm going to go under All Apps, go under AMP Font Viewer, open it up. Sorry, you can't see those buttons at the bottom, uh, the way I have my thing set. But anyway, so it brings up this screen, AMP Font Viewer, and it's pretty basic looking. Doesn't look exciting there. But I want to show you what it's capable of. Okay, I'm going to go under, the first thing I'm going to go under is Options. And, um, no, excuse me, I'm going to go under View. Excuse me, the first thing I'm going to do is go under the word View, and I'm going to View All Fonts and Edit Categories. Okay, so this brings up all the fonts I have in my computer. And you can see that the sample that they're giving me is the title of the font. So the next thing I want to do is go into the word option and I want to define my sample. You could type in ABCD, the fox jumped over the moon, uh, whatever. But what I'm going to type in is the um, actual thing that I'm wanting to preview to use as a cut and silhouette or for my uh, thing. So now what you can see is it changed uh, my samples over to the fonts. So I can preview every font I own real quickly. While the screen is changing, it's because I am scrolling down with my mouse and just trying to look at all the fonts quickly. But that's great, but I need I don't need to see all those fonts. I have an idea of what look I'm going for with my thing. So I want to go under the word organize, the word category, and you can see here it's showing all fonts is checked, but I could come down here and check the different font categories I have created. These are words that I pick to use for myself, so I have to remember bold, chalky, and sketchy, dingbats, uh, and images, displays, uh, fun and Christmassy, summer fonts, tall and skinny. You can just make up whatever names you want. Here I've got watercolor brush, and my favorite probably is fancy script with flourishes. So those are the categories I've created. So family is forever. Let's say I want to do it in fancy scripts with flourishes. So now it brings up quickly for me. You saw how quickly it brought up. And if you can see how quickly I can scroll through and look for a font that I like. So let's say I want this Scriptina Pro. You don't select it on here. You're just viewing it. But, ooh, I like that. So um, let's see under Define Sample if I can do. No, that's okay. Um, so I like the Scriptina Pro. So I'm going to go to my silhouette. Oh, I've already done it. What I did was I typed the word Family is Forever. I highlighted it. Well, let me, let me do it from the beginning. Sorry. I typed a word. I'm going to come over here and just type hello. Type my word. Double click. Highlight. Come over here to font selector. And now instead of trying to slowly uh, scroll through, I just type enough of the word or the font title to or the um, typeset uh, title to come up. Click on it. Come down here and click on it. And you can see it changes to that. Now, while we're on this screen, I'm going to digress for just a minute. What I did here was to show you something. Ooh, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me hit undo. Sorry about that, Shy. I'm going to hit all this, group it, bring it off to the side. Okay, so here's the word hello I've typed, and you can see it's in Scriptina. Oh, that's a pretty font. But don't you think that's a little too thin to cut with the Cricut? I'm going to weld those letters together so that it'll cut me a title, get rid of all those different cut lines. A little too thin, so what I do is I go up here. If I find a font that has the flourishes I want, but I'm scared that it's going to be too thin for me to fiddle with, the crick, the silhouette would cut it, but I don't want to have to try to pull it off the mat or fool with letters that thin in paper. So I'm going to go over here to Offset, hit Offset, come down here to where you can pick the size of your offset, and I'm going to hit 03, 03. So I'm changing my offset to 03, hit Apply. I'm going to grab the internal word, get rid of it, and now you can see where I have the same pretty flourishes and stuff, but in a little thicker thing for me to fool with. Okay, so I saw that I like the family is forever in Scriptina, but let's say I like the family is forever in Patty. So I would go see how I can look at Patty, or I want to keep looking and see I was just scrolling. I'm just using my scroll bar to go through the fonts. No, those flourishes don't do it for me. So I'm going to go under Organize Categories and I'm going to do Watercolor Brush. Okay, that's a completely different look, but it's all using my fonts and you can see how quickly I can scroll through these by category. 
No, that's not doing it for me either. So let's say I want to do um, don't don't I want to do display and hand cut looks just because. Oh, that's cute. Family is fun. Okay, family is forever. Family is forever. You can see where it's showing you all the different um, fonts. So you could pick the one that you like. And when I say pick it, just look at the name. You just look at the name, and then you go back to your silhouette and use that name. I don't see any here that do it for me in that thing. So I'm going to go to Categories, come back down here to, um, did I do Fun and Christmassy? Oh, I like that Family is Forever right there. That is Ballerina Script. So now I'm going to go back to my silhouette. Where's my mat? Hold on, let me go back to my silhouette. I'm going to go to Mat View. I'm going to drag this off real quick, drag this off real quick. Sorry about that. I'm going to type the word. I'm going to click. I'm going to type the words again. I could have just re, you know edited those, but I'm just going to type it again. Okay. And what did we say that font was? Ballerina. Okay. The word ballerina. Oh, didn't have the whole thing highlighted. Okay. So now you can see ballerina. Uh, the script ballerina is forever. Highlight that. Pick it. Font. Weld it, and then I'm going to come up here. This is just me. You don't have to do this, but for me, that's too small for me to fiddle with. If I was doing it in vinyl or something, I'd be okay where I'm using transfer taper, but in fooling with paper, that's too thin for me. Hit the word offset, come down here. This is just my preference. Okay, and then I'm going to get rid of the family is forever. And you can see where I still have the pretty flourishes, but I've gotten rid of the thinness to it. So this is just a real easy way. Whoop, grab the wrong one. Uh, so this is just a e real quick way for me to change a font up to where I still have the flourishes, but I cut it thicker. Okay, let's go back to Font Viewer. Sorry. Okay, so you can see where under the word Organize category, I can organize my fonts into these different looks. But how do you do that to begin with if you don't already have the names? We're going to go to Fonts Without Categories. And I have just uploaded uh, myself one, two, three, four, five fonts that I did not own before, um, having my stash. So I want to organize those now. So we can, if you already have your categories created, you can go to, you just highlight the font. Important that the font is highlighted. So you like this one or this one. You can highlight multiple fonts if you want to add them all to the same thing. But I'm just going to do the one. So it's highlighted. And I'm going to go to Add Selected Font to Category. So I want to add that one to, um, what would you like to add that to? I'm going to add it to, hold on, Watercolor Brush Hand, like that hand-drawn look. And I'm going to hit the word OK. So then I'm going to take this one and highlight it. Uh, and I'm going to Add Selected Font to Category. And I'm going to add that one to, I'm going to say Retro. That look retro to y'all. Okay, we're gonna do retro. I'm gonna take this one, add uh, selected font to category. We're gonna do that fancy scripts and flourishes. I'm gonna take this font. Oh, I gotta highlight it. We're gonna take that font, add to selected categories. We're gonna come down here to watercolor and brush hand drawn looks. Hit the word OK. Family is forever. This is another one that to me looks retro. You can add them to more than one category, so in case you you know can't decide what you like and you want to do it. Okay, now I'm going to go back under here under categories, fonts without categories, and you can see I re-clicked it, and there's nothing there because it moved all those fonts into categories. Now, let me see here under the word organize. I'm sorry, uh, you'll see the word edit categories. Had a little brain freeze there for a minute. If you want to start from scratch. You can come down here and make yourself some categories. So what you would want to do is hit the word add or the plus sign and name your category. Um, I'm going to do baby. Uh, that's goofy. No, let's not do baby. <clears throat> what do we want to do? Because maybe one actually. I use Valentine. I use summer. I use uh, fall. I use flourish. Um, I'm trying to think of another title. We're going to go ahead and use baby because I can't think of anything else. Okay, baby. That added that. So now if I come down here under my names, I should have the word baby. Oh, 
not under the, under the word category. If I hit the word category, uh, you should see that baby is there now. Let's say I want to add another one. I want to add another category. You would be starting from scratch. I already have a ton of categories. Let me just show you again. These are my categories already done. You can see I just added the word baby. So if I want to add another one, I'm going to come here and hit the word add. Okay, y'all help me here. Um, let's say I want to do snowflakes. Different from all my other dingbats. Just to speed up my looking. Snowflakes. Okay, because I'm doing Christmas stuff now. So I'm going to do the word snowflakes. Now when I go up under my categories, you can see the word snowflakes is there. Okay. You can go through this under this screen after you have added all of your categories. You know, you just hit the word add, hit the word add, type a name, hit OK, it adds it in there. After you've added all your categories, which you can see here, this is my list of categories. See how I'm clicking there. You can then go back on this screen, pick a category, and come through this list of your fonts and add them. But I can't see what this font looks like, and I'm not, I don't want to print 800 and something fonts or 1,000 and something fonts. I want to just do it another way. So I'm going to get out of this screen. I'm going to go under Organize, Categories, and you would go, like I did just a minute ago, Fonts Without Categories, because all of your fonts would not yet be categorized, and you would do what I'm about to do, but remember to use the Fonts Without Category. I'm going to go to the word Bold. This brings up just my bold fonts. But this is how you would transfer a font, like I showed you earlier, to a category. You make sure it's highlighted, right-click, add selected fonts to category. When you click that, it gives you, it brings up the screen where it shows you your different categories, and you then add it. So family is forever is, I'm going to add it in, under Sari Basics, okay, because it kind of is. So now that's added under there as well. If I come down here to Family is Forever here, it's under Bold right now. It'll stay under Bold. I just want to add it to another category. I'm going to add it to Retro. Okay. So anybody here going to remember April Fat Face? Let's go into Organize, Categories. What did we add that to? Um, three Basics, I think. Oh, who the heck remembered? Oh, April. There it is right there at the top because it started with an A. Lucky us. So you can see where it's still under the other category. It's still under bold, and it was also under the other. So, on the main screen where it says options, um, I'm going to go here. Wait, that's not it. Okay, yes it is. I'm going to go into the word options. It brings up this screen. It tells you you can do a font color. Um, you can move deleted font. You can change what your things are. So I could change the number of columns to two. I could change the font size to 48, 72. Let me change the column to one if I want to do that. And let's say I want to see it bigger. So I'm going to change it to 64. I'm going to change the font color to pink. Pink. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Oh, i got to hit OK here. So now you can see my selection color will still be blue. So if I select something, it turns to blue, but the font will be pink. And let's see what here, what happens. So now I'm going to go under view, all fonts. Oh my gosh, it changed them all to pink. It made them all huge. It didn't change my columns. What's up with that? Let's go back under here. Let's get rid of this for a second and find out what we did wrong. We're going to do options. Hit the word options, default number of columns one. Let's change it to two and see what happens. Okay. View all fonts. Well, it's still showing three. Now, does that? Oh, you know why this? See how it's moving across? I don't know if that's why or not. Um, let me do under edit. Oh, look, there's the word column right there. Let's see if that works. Yep, that works. So forget what I said about doing columns. If it doesn't work, just read your buttons at the top. Here's the word column, and it changed it to one. And I can scroll down them real fast and big and see what they're looking like. 
So that's op that's um, under organize edit options. Okay. Hope this wasn't here. Let's go back under here. Define sample. Let me hit the word thank you. I'm going to go under here under organize categories. See how this is addictive. Um, watercolor brush hand drawn looks. You can see now where you could really quickly pick out a font for a card and get a good idea of what it looks like. I am so sorry I have rambled on. Let me see what I can do to clean this up in editing. And I appreciate so much you watching. Um, and I hope this was some, some help. I'll have the link below. And then I'm going to try to get a blog post done with the uh, steps in order and all. So bear with me. Okay, thank you all so much. And I hope this helped you all a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.